of space. So you put the trocar up and with the help of 5M telescope, pierce the plutonium. But yes, perforate the plutonium. And once you will perforate, boom, complete gas will go inside the abdominal cavity and plutonium will stuck up. And then you can continue. This How do you differentiate this from adhesions in the abdomen? Yes, adhesions, whenever the adhesions are there, you will not see the whitest air space like fibrous trabeculae. pre peritoneal space has a peculiar uh, uh, recognition, mm -hmm. like you will see that air space and the fibrous trabeculae like, and inside when you will put the light cable up in 30 degree telescope, you will never see any coil of intestine. Shiny. But if Shiny, yes. But if this is the adhesions, you will see some coil somewhere and the adhesion will be seen like some blood is, some momentum, some other structure will be visible. <coughs> but sometimes you may confuse in that also. In those situations, it may be very risky. Sometimes when you are perforating it with the telescope, you may perforate some bobble loop also. So th generally these things are little bit uh, means needs experience. And better if you do not have that much experience, then take the gas out. How to take? If your cannula is also there, then take the telescope out and open the valve of the cannula. Everything is out. Take the cannula out and then go with the Palmer's point. Because now if you enter through the Palmer's point, even you can see the adhesion also and you can differentiate and you can find out your own complication. Sometimes if you will enter from here, you cannot see your complication whatever you have done. Even if you have perforated the addition part, you cannot see that you have perforated only the momentum or if you have perforated the bobble loop. Because after once the telescope is in, telescope cannot see itself. Telescope cannot see the place where it has entered its own. Its own pathway you cannot see by the telescope. For that telescope should be from here. And if you will go, you can inspect it. So these type of problems happen and sometime even if you are not expecting Suppose you think that patient does not have any adhesion, but there may be extensive adhesion inside and rarely it can happen. One more complication sometimes happens that always remember that your anesthetist should be very much trained in laparoscopic anesthesia. Sometimes what they do, when they use the ambu bag to just to do the oxidation of the patient before intubation, then they put a lot of gas into the stomach and in those situations there will be complete dilatation of the stomach and sometimes a stomach comes up to umbilicus. In those situations, accidentally your breast needle can enter into the umbilicus and you can put the gas into the umbilicus also. So the stomach, so a stomach it can enter the breast needle and it can create problems. So this type of complication can happen. But your main aim should be that these all complications should be with the breast needle only. Because even if you will puncture the bowel with the, just by the breast needle, <coughs> most of the time you do not have to do anything. Just take it out, correct it, maybe a little hematoma and it will seal itself. But the same injury if it is by the trocar, then you have to repair and sometime laparotomy is also necessary. So these are the few of the concern regarding the virus needle. Yes? Yeah. Uh, is there any place for, for trocar or smoke-up guys at the initial stage if the uh, trocar no, I, in practical it is not there. Reason behind that it is your reflex which stops you at appropriate place. Ultrasound will tell you that yes you are in the bowel now, take it out. <laughs> or it will say you that yes you are incorrect, you are not in the bowel. This, this only. But it will not give you that reflex. Reason behind that it is just you have to play within centimeters. Isn't it? Ultrasonography is not helpful in the access, although it is reported, some surgeons they claim that they are using, but the best is to develop the proper way of holding the breast needle, proper way of lifting it, proper way of feeling the clicking sounds and then irrigation, suction and hanging drop test. Most of the time this will be more safer. In ultrasound guided, your reflex will not develop because you have to go very smoothly and if there is no fluid collection then ultrasound is very bad sensing the air space. It cannot sense the potential cavity. It can sense only if the, you are inside the coil of intestine or, or there is a fluid there. 
so it's it's not much used basically it is not a routine for some of the experimental purposes just to write some article some many people has tried to you write the comment regarding use of ultrasound but it is not a practical approach not only that i i will take the powerpoint of access technique tomorrow many company they have made the optical needle like the various needle has a telescope at the tip and you can attach it and while you are going you can see all the layers but that also cannot stop you perforating because what you will see you can see the yes once you will enter somewhere in wrong place then it will give you the idea yes, yes this is wrong but this but our idea is not to perforate that our idea is to develop that reflex and this is a technique if you are correct in your technique there will not be any problem it is very easy simple but your correct technique should be there like ketamine right ketamine anesthesia has two drawback one drawback it creates muscle spasm so abdominal wall will be tight and sometime patient has the hallucination if your teles telescope is inside or if you are doing diagnostic laparoscopy with your breast needle or maryland or grasper if patient has jerk or he want to sit then you can inadvertently you can damage some of the bowel loop so ketamine is not a very good anesthesia for the laparoscopy for small procedures they give spinal anesthesia a spinal supplement with ketamine for sedation yes that you can do that you can do that you can do but ideally most of the surgeon they like general anesthesia for laparoscopy general anesthesia is the anesthesia of choice for laparoscopic procedure what about laser. right laser in the laparoscopy is a very old procedure long ago if you will buy any book of 10 year old at that time when laparoscopy started at that time lasers were used but nowadays nobody is using laser because laser has many complication one complication that depth of injury you cannot control in laser once it is fired then it will go that much deeper you cannot control it just by controlling the paddle once you will set that intensity and you fire that much you will burn now it is after the advent of new technology like the harmonic like the liga sure plasma kinetic energy qsa and argon enhanced electrosurgery no. i will discuss all those dissection principles later and in those situation laser is seldom used in laparoscopic surgery only for few surgery like pre sacral neurectomy it is used sometime for the this uh, endometrioma chocolate cyst they are using to burn it and sometime it is used but it is rarely now it is almost stopped there is no use of laser in laparoscopic surgery but it is a misnomer because most of the people they understand even our the patient they ask for laser surgery they think that there is something laser which is used in laparoscopy but there is no use of laser <coughs> sometime it happens <coughs> so now tomorrow we will start with the access technique and then we will work in the uh, lab most hopefully tomorrow we will start the extra corporeal knotting also and we will learn the major and rodders knot and i will demonstrate you how to apply those knots on the in the lab we will learn that